Today, we shine a light on an ancient breed of pig. The Maishan pig is a wrinkly and floppy-eared marvel that's as cute as it is productive. There's a reason that this super producer was brought back from the brink of extinction and has been studied by universities for years, and that reason has nothing to do with how unique their appearance is. These magnificent hogs have some of the highest birth rates with the record being 28 piglets in the US and the most exceptional standard of meat. You'll be hard pressed to find a more even tempered and easy to manage animal to keep on your property. China has been breeding pork for as long as records go back and they have had centuries to perfect the process. The Maishan is one of the oldest of all the breeds that came from the Asian continent. And after 5,000 years, it's hard to tell exactly which breed came first, but we can be certain that the Maishan was one of the earlier ones to be intentionally bred for agricultural purposes. The hogs were cultivated in the Maishan region in China, hence their name. And it wasn't until the late 1980s that the U.S. took notice of this particular breed. The U.S. imported 99 pigs that were brought in from China to be observed in a joint research study involving the USDA, Iowa State, and the University of Illinois. The intent was to study the Maishan's incredible reproductive capabilities and their early maturity rates. However, the study was short-lived, and the herds from the universities were given away to farmers. At this time, there was very little tracking or record-keeping of what happened to the Maishans and Maishan populations dwindled. By 2016, there were no more Maishans left in facilities or zoos. But a handful of the Maishans did make their way to small holdings and farms across the country. Breeders united in an effort to find the remaining pigs and save them. Their numbers aren't large by any means, but good record-keeping of breeding pairs and encouragement by the Maishan Breeders Association, led by Laura Jensen, have exponentially increased this sweet-tempered rumple mug's chances of becoming an established, high-yield production animal again. On this channel, we talk about endangered breeds a lot, and a lot of the time, the future looks bleak for them. But the amber is one of those success stories that gives us hope. Through their breeding programs and their good relationships with farmers, veterinarians and breeding experts, they have carved out a very promising future for the Maishan. Through large litter sizes and renewed interest as an amazing homestead, pasture pig, the Maishan population has rose dramatically and a breeder can be found in almost ever state. The Maishan is known for its floppy ears and wrinkly and dark skin. You might say that they are the Sharpays of the swine world. The medium-sized hog is known for its docile and gentle temperament. But the Maishan has a few attributes that make it stand out far above its contemporary competitors. Most notably, they mature fast and they have enormous litters. They can reach sexual maturity at just three months old and once a sow has a litter, they average around 16 wrinkly piglets at a time. The highest recorded litter came in at a whopping 42 piglets in a single farrowing recorded in China. And any healthy sow can have two to three litters a year. Now that's a lot of little piggies running around. They reach full size at around 15 to 18 months and can weigh around 400 to 500 pounds. If they are left to grow out for a full two years, they can get up to 600 pounds easily. Their growth rate hits that sweet spot between commercial and heritage breeds. They grow out faster than heritage breeds, but a little slower than commercially bred pigs, without the more common diseases and conditions that plague either one. Maishans are very adaptable to a wide range of conditions. Unless you live in an Arctic-level cold environment, they can be at ease in just about any weather, hot or cold. Now we know that all pig breeds have hardy digestive tracts, but none more so than the Maishan. This ability to process harsher materials and a significant amount of pasture forage is probably the reason they are weaned so early. This strong digestive system also makes them more resistant to disease and allows for a greater variation in their diets. They can absorb nutrients even from the toughest materials. They aren't picky when it comes to their food, and they're pretty economical when it comes to how much they need. As is expected with any hog species, they won't stop eating if you keep their troughs full. But with a proper feeding schedule in place, a single Maishan will thrive 
with up to six pounds of food a day. That's two pounds less than most other medium-sized pigs need on average. Some breeders are further experimenting with rotational grazing on high-density pastures to further cut down this amount. Given the wide variation of their diets and that they require a little less to keep them well-fed, they are a homesteader's dream hog to keep. Make no mistake, they can be fed entirely on commercially bought pig feed and be completely healthy. But their unique digestive tract just gives you so many more options to source their feed from. The Mishan produces exceptional quality meat. It's an uncommonly deep red for pork and has a fabulous micro-marbling of fat throughout the carcass, making for a very rich, tender, and well-rounded flavor profile. The lard Mishan gives is highly prized. It is light, clean, and requires much less heat to be rendered into liquid. Maishans are perfectly suited for small holdings and homesteads. Their productivity leaves a lot of room for earning on the market while keeping your freezer full. Their relaxed nature means that they can be herded alongside other animals without the aggressive tendencies common in most pigs. And they don't root and pull up soil like most hogs do. If you've ever kept hogs, you'll know what kind of destruction we're talking about. Pigs can rip up trees, roots and all and the level of destruction they leave behind can be astronomical. But Maishans are content to graze and rummage about on the top layer of the pasture they're given. They are much too lazy to bother digging for roots under the ground, and they are very handy for keeping invasive plants like kudzu under control. Reminder that all pigs root to a certain extent, but the depth and extent seems to be significantly lower than most standard breeds. We would equate their rooting similar to Idaho pasture pigs or coon coons. They also don't have the same limitations to ingesting fiber as other swine species have. So the amount of scraps you feed them is almost unlimited, further cutting down on costs. In comparison to other pigs, they eat less, are less prone to aggression, they are quieter, and are a no-hassle breed as far as disease and care go. And if you were looking to keep one more along the lines of a pet instead of a production animal, you couldn't ask for a gentler hog to have. There's a lot of praise to be given to the Maishan Breeders Association. Laura and her team are managing the endangered breed exceptionally well. And with the right amount of support and farms willing to extend some space to keep some Maishan on their properties, we could very well be looking at the next pork breed of choice for small-scale farmers. There really aren't any downsides to keeping this bountiful, crinkle-faced beauty around. So if you were considering extending your livestock to keep hogs too, you might want to go for the high yield and easy to manage Maishan. And by keeping a few, you'll be supporting a noble cause while keeping your pantry well stocked.